Okay, we're given a graph of a quadratic function, uh, a parabola, and we're asked to find the equation or function that generates this graph. So the steps on this, the first thing we want to do is locate the vertex, the very highest point here, which I believe is negative four, five, and then one additional point that's on our graph. Um, so be very confident that it actually crosses at, we'd like integer values on this, if at all possible. All right, so you may zoom in to locate these. I think we can probably go ahead and say that either one of these points would be good candidates to go along with this. So I'm gonna use negative three, two. You'd get to the exact same function if you use negative five, two. All right, so as we take a look at this, let's first use that vertex. So our function is gonna be A times Looks like to get to the vertex, we've moved everything uh, from the vertex of the x squared graph that starts at the origin at zero, zero. To get to the vertex where we're at, we've moved to the left four. So I'm gonna put a four directly in here with the x, grouped with the x. And to move to the left four, we're gonna have to add four. The next thing is everything's been moved up five to land at negative four or five. So we're gonna add five to the entire thing to move everything up, all right? So far, that takes care of all the information about our vertex, that highest point. Um, now we need to locate whatever A is going to be. To do so, we're gonna use that additional point that we picked out. So that additional point, we're gonna go ahead and say that's an X value and that's a Y value or F of X value and fill in. So we can say two, our F of X or Y value equals A times negative three plus four, filled in that X value. All right, now we have an equation where we don't know what A is, but we can do some solving down and find A. So let's subtract five. So we have negative three equals A times a little bit of simplifying down on the inside here. Negative three plus four makes one squared. So negative three equals A times one, or that's the same thing as A. So our function is actually gonna be given by taking that A value and filling back into the initial function that we wrote. So negative three, times the quantity x plus four squared plus five. Now, if we were asked to stop at standard form or vertex form, we could stop right here. If however, we were asked to find the general form for this, what that means is we'd need to multiply the whole thing out. So we need to distribute this and basically say negative three x plus four times another copy of x plus four. That's what our exponent means, it's two copies multiplied together. And then go ahead and multiply this through. I'm gonna first bring the negative three along and distribute here. So I'm gonna do first outer and last, x squared plus four x plus four x plus 16. Bring that plus five down from the outside. Now go ahead and distribute the negative three. We could combine those like terms first, but I'm electing to go ahead and distribute first. Negative 12x, negative 12x, minus 48, and then bring down the plus five. Combine these like terms and we will be done. So negative three x squared minus 24 x minus 43. And this is referred to as the general form. So I always find this to be the easiest way to go about finding these functions uh, is start with the vertex, find one additional point, use what we know about transformations to, to set this up, and then fill in our additional point, leaving us only A to solve for. Solve for A and plug it back in. If you got standard form, leave it right here. If you need general form, do a little bit of expanding out and combining like terms. All right, hope this helps as you're uh, trying to find the function that generates a given graph.